snake. Surprised if you don't circle back around, try and get my boat. Here he comes. You guys are brave, I tell you what. Look at him. <laughs> Told you he'd probably circle back around. He probably ain't done with me yet. You gotta watch those things. Uh, I'm about to go on the first river trip in a long time. River's been pretty dry. It's still probably one of the lowest times I've ever went on it, but I'm gonna try anyway. I know I'm gonna have to get out a few times, but it's worth it. Fish will probably be stacked up in the currents and little deeper holes. Should make it pretty easy. Doing a whopper plopper size 90. And I actually brought a spinning rod today, Berkeley cherry wood. And I have a Nico rig with a 5 inch Cinco tied on that. Water's still pretty murky looking. It's been like that all year long. I don't think there's been one clear water day yet. At least when I've been on it. No, it got super shallow really really early this season and it's pretty much sucked
Got my first fish on a backlash. Go figure. Things uh, happen a lot. A little small mouth. Kind of love to hook you. Oh, and it came off. That sucks. It's been that kind of week fishing for me, I guess. I skunked a couple times, went out for about four or five hours on a reservoir, caught one smallmouth. Didn't fish yesterday. Actually made my first visit to a bass pro shop. Man, I was like overwhelmed at that place. It's like going into a Toys R Us for the first time when I was a little kid. Sit better. That place was amazing. I could have spent all day in there. I mean, the prices aren't great, but still, the, the selection is amazing. Got a chance to hold several different rods that I've never held before. Tiny small mouth. Oh, one year old. Look at that little guy. I think that's the smallest small mouth I've ever caught. I've said that a few times, but seriously, I think that that's the smallest small mouth I've ever caught. Wow. Decent little smally, I 13, 14 inches. About time. And a little dinkster. It's the third one I got in the kayak today. 
It's only the second smallest one, believe it or not. First one I caught was probably twice as small as this one. Uh, still a pretty crappy day. Oh, fourth fish. Oh, feisty smallmouth here. Looks like they've been feeding pretty good lately, though. I've got decent bellies on them as I'm floating backwards through this current. Hope I don't hit a, a rock here. There we go. Might actually catch enough to make a video after all. All right, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Calm down. This year it's been pretty rough, but the river conditions have sucked. Water's been murky most of the year. It's been pretty low in the summer. It's pretty high in the early spring. I went from high to being low real quick. I'm not sure what the deal is, to be honest. I have seen osprey in this section. I know they strictly eat fish. So I don't know if they're eating a bunch of fish or what I know there's, there's a lot of uh, a lot more algae growth this year hasn't been my worst trip ever but it's up there especially for being August August is usually a pretty decent month This whole week, it just seems no matter where I've went, it's been tough going. Went to Van Buren State Park earlier in the week, got skunked. That place was terrible. Uh, next day, I went to a couple reservoirs and did some bank fishing. Didn't fish very long, but didn't catch a fish. Next day, went out to uh, Ferguson Reservoir in a kayak. I fished about five hours, caught one smallmouth. Yesterday I didn't fish at all. Today I've caught four. Had one hooked, and as I was getting ready to get it and get adjusted to get it in the kayak, it came off. So I don't really count that one. Hope I can catch one more up here in this. Spot. Right after this little ripple. Was hoping I'd catch one around here, but doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I said this, this area used to be just crawling with rock bass. I'd like to do the next section up that I do sometimes, section I caught 41 on, but it's even kind of shallower in this section, so I'd definitely be getting out for long stretches and pulling the kayak.
Oh, there's the rock bass. I don't think I can go a whole trip without catching a rock bass. I got my fifth fish. Mr. Rock Bass, of course. Yeah, I don't mind it this time. Like I said, I like to have five, at least five fish for a video. The way he hit it, I thought it might be a big small at first. Some things pretty aggressive when they first hit it. Usually don't even have time to fish this section because it's usually pretty dark by now. I'm usually just paddling through it, but gave myself pretty plenty of time today. Number six, at least I have enough to make a video now. Ain't gonna be nothing special, but at least it's content, which I'm low on because I had like two, two and a half weeks where I didn't have a GoPro. And then tried getting some this week and it's been a rough week.